Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I will deliver the lecture of urban design and innovation. This lecture will focus on the top three urban design element innovation. This is module two of the lecture of portfolio innovation on built environment or portfolio lingkungan binaan inovatif. This lecture will have three key studies. The first one is digitally reprogrammable space. The second one is Quaternet and Internet of Pipes. The third one is Adopt a Tree through your social networks. The first case study is reprogrammable space. Why it is important? Demand on space in cities are constantly changing as a result of economic growth, demographics, and consumer preferences. As urban population increase from 4 billion to nearly 7 billion over the next 30 years, the world will need to almost double its urban capacity by 2050. There is neither the time nor money to produce the required infrastructure conventionally through large-scale engineering solution. Focus should be on the better use of existing infrastructure. City centers struggle to adapt to the heavy invasive technologies on the 20th century, but can more easily host the clean, knowledge-based, and lightweight industry and digital technologies of today. Cities have started to look at reprogramming their space to get more from less. Vancouver has reduced its allowable urban footprint. Glasgow has moved from a policy of expansion to concentration. New York has been incrementally repurposing asphalt to expand footpaths and open space. And Melbourne has repurposed a basic hectare of underutilized road and other space in the last 30 years and align new medium to high density residential development around Israel station and road-based public transport networks. I think this is potential for the future. Melbourne approach has helped reduce taxes from 13% in 1995 to just over 4% and if it can accommodate the projected population increase of the 3.5 million people by 2050 within its current boundaries, it will reduce required infrastructure funding by an estimated 140 billion over 50 years. As such, treasure historic city centers could again become productive areas of thing not only knowledge workers, but also the emerging fourth industrial revolution of 3D printers and digital manufacturing as technological development enable new ways of organizing work, occupation passion, and place of production. 
building themselves will also be digitally programmable and able to instantly shift use between uh, theater, gymnasium, social center to further minimizing the overall urban footprint. This is the building of multi-story car park. In this building in Miami also plays host to parties, yoga classes, and wedding. The second uh, study is WaterNet, an internet of pipes. Why it is important? Population growth, ecological threat, and climate change all make it more critical than ever to efficiently manage and protect limited fresh water resources. By 2030, it is estimated that fresh water demand could outpace supply by 40%. Currently, the average water loss due to leak is estimated at 25 up to 30% with some utilities agencies allowing it to rise to over 50%. Smart water management model use sensors in network pipes to monitor flow and manage the entire water cycle, providing sustainable water for human and ecological needs. Companies such as Tagadu, based in Israel, are creating cloud-based solution to connect water pipe to the internet of things, enabling a proactive approach to flood control and rainwater collection, and the identification of weak point or blockage in the network before major damage occurs. For example, in Queensland, Australia, Unity Water cut its direct water loses by 1 billion liters in one year, saving 1.9 million. It reduced the time it took to detect and resolve net if network event by filtered and increase availability by almost 20. Potential for the future. Sensor in sweat pipe using new technique developed at MIT could allow for scientists to analyze bacteria and viruses, monitoring the impact of air policies and more quickly detecting the outbreak and spread of the infectious disease such as blue strains. Such early warning could help to prevent pandemics, saving lives and significantly reducing medical costs. This is a team of MIT researchers led by Professor Carlo Conti. The project called Underworlds is being tested in Cambridge, Massachusetts, United States. This project has developed a system to collect and analyze biochemical information from sweet water, what could be thought of as a smart sweet platform. The third 
his innovation is undoubtedly through your social network. Why it is important? The International Panel on Climate Change foresees an increase in extreme weather event that will challenge cities, especially in developing countries. This dominant engineering approach has been to brick walls, buckets, levees, and other for Certification to minimize the effect of future storm and sea level rises. A less appreciated response is planting more trees. Studies show that increasing a city green area by 10% could compensate for the temperature increase caused by climate change. In this regard, vegetation have to block short wave radiation while also evaporating water, cooling the ambient air and creating more comfortable microclimates. Three canopies and root system can also reduce storm water flows and balance nutrient loads. Melbourne encourages citizens to take pride in urban greenery through its urban forest strategy consisting of over 70,000 trees. All trees are packed on a central database, including citizens can adopt a tree, name it, track it, growth, and carbon offset, and share this data through their social networks. Each tree has its own email address, which allows citizens to report effect and disease, and even send love letters. I think this is a potential for the future. Trees now cover 22% of Melbourne, a figure that will rise to 40% by 2040. By developing tools and processes for measuring and modeling the potential of trees to mitigate the effect of climate change, Melbourne is positioning itself as a global leader in urban forestry. This is picture that Melbourne has developed a new website Urban Forest Visual with detailed the location, genus, and lifespan of the city's urban forest by region. The interactive tree map allows users to explore Melbourne tree data, learn more about life expectancy and diversity of trees in the city and submit any question. Thank you very much for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.